So we've talked, now we come to the physics. So we talked about interactions changing velocity. And you saw drop something, it interacts with the Earth, okay. It isn't quite the whole story, though. Velocity isn't really the only thing that matters. And let me explain. Could you, would you be a volunteer? Okay. I want you gently to toss this tennis ball to me in a minute. Okay. So she's going to toss the tennis ball gently to me. The tennis ball is the system. I'm going to interact with it to change its velocity. That is, I'm going to try to catch it and stop it. Okay. So toss it gently to me. Okay, I interacted with it, and the tennis ball wasn't, wait, don't sit down. Okay, now I want you to gently, at roughly the same speed, toss this bowling ball to me. Okay, the velocity was the same, so the change in velocity was the same, but... I had to exert a lot more effort to stop the bowling ball. Thank you. You can sit down now. <laughs> so it wasn't, velocity wasn't the only thing that mattered. What is the other thing that matters in determining mass? Okay. So we need to take into account the mass of an object when we're thinking about interactions causing change. And not surprisingly, it seems that the bigger the mass of an object, the stronger of an interaction you need to change what's happening. So quantity of interest is actually a product. More mass need bigger interaction. More, more speed need bigger interaction. So the quantity of interest involves both mass and velocity, and we might guess that it would be the product of mass times velocity. This is a perfectly good expression. Velocity is a vector. This is a scalar, mass in kilograms, no problem. 